The bunks here are worse than in training. We can fix the place up. I have some ideas. No hammocks. Never again. That was your own fault. That pipe wasn't load-bearing. You said hang it anywhere. I am not having this conversation. Alright, welcome back to the channel. I'm King Abaddon, and in today's video, we're back with XCOM Chimera Squad. Um, I think we already set the team how we wanted it for the next episode, right? Oh, we finally got the bubble grenade. Places all units in affected area and stasis for a short time. When XCOM scientists re replicated the psionic stasis bubble through the technolo technological technological means, XCOM engineers figured out how to place that technology in a grenade case. Re Reclamation deploys M Mark III showstopper grenades offensively to split hostile groups or defensively, oh, offensively to split hostile groups or defensively to protect endangered squad members of, or VIP. Grab the mass torque pistols. Uh, block the next attack that would damage the agent. Can target self or ally. I want to buy that too. And then bubble weave. Bubble weave automatically triggers when the agent carrot carrying it reaches zero hp instead of bleeding out the agent will be placed in a stasis until the start of their turn that sounds pretty useful too so i'm gonna buy that just to hold on to we have the extra money so might as well spend it on and uh check out some of the other things in here that we haven't really looked at how many what type of rounds do we have i don't think we have any new types of rounds so let's see in here we're doing mass work subs and once that's done, that's all of the weapons really done. But I'm pretty sure at that point we'll probably be done or close to done with the game anyways. Godmother's done her training, patchwork, cherub. Oh, he does have new ability. Is he on the team? He is. Well, I guess I don't think I have anyone I can move around really at this point, right? There's no... Oh, we have two people idle. So I guess I'll put Godmother in here. Uh, is there any point in this? I feel like we're getting close to the end of the game, so I'm not trying to do stuff that's going to take too long, but we might as well do something. I think everything's going to take five days in here anyway, so. We don't have any anarchy. We've been pretty good on keeping that down or pulling it back down if it goes up. So I guess we'll go for the scavenger market then. I think we're doing alright for it. Yeah, we're, never mind. I was going to say we're pretty much reset. We don't have any reason to not do this mission. This one going up isn't a problem. Uh, this is the bigger thing, so let's go get the data back, I guess is how I would say that. Are there any other ones? No, okay. Let's see. Uh, I guess since we only have these two things, we might as well give them to them, right? Uh, yeah, I think I'm fine with what everyone, with what everyone else has. Let's speak clearly. Alright. Extra padding, extra padding, mock weave. So everyone has some basic stuff, but... Let's see if we can give him something a little more interesting. When did I get- Oh, I forgot. I got this in the last episode. I should have been using this, actually. This is useful for... Who would this be most useful for? Regen 2 health at the end of each turn? Yeah, that's definitely good. It makes sense why we got it so late in the game. Um, If we give it to her, she's more likely to stay alive throughout the mission. And she won't have to heal herself, which means she can focus on healing everyone else. He doesn't need it at all. He heals from the um, neural network. It's between these two, I think, because I feel like they take the most damage. Because Cherub is trying to give out shields to everyone before. I like to give them to everyone else before himself, I think. Uh, that's how I usually do that. Plus, it gets his charge up, which makes him more powerful overall. But I think giving it to her is going to be better because um, she can heal and shoot on all of her turns. I feel like that's more powerful if she doesn't have to heal herself. She'll be keeping everyone else alive too. His thing helps protect everyone, but it's not the same as actually giving them health back. And then we haven't been taking melee damage for real. This is probably gonna be this will probably be more useful against the chrysalids. Uh, grants immunity to disorientation and stun. I think we're just gonna give him the i think we'll give him the bubble weave i guess i don't know the only thing is these things are conditional so hazmat if you have nothing that's gonna we have no environmental effects it's not gonna be as useful um see oh wait what's that overdrive serum uh overdrive serum grants a significant boost to mobility and agent and an agent on overdrive serum gains plus three armor overdrive serum also makes the agent temporarily immune to negative mental effects like panic and mind control that's going to be good for 
for Zephyr. Not really Axon because we want him to berserk. I don't know if uh, Panic or Mind Control goes into those because it says like, so it might include things past that. Uh, he has Venom rounds and a Turncoat grenade. No, I don't want him to have a Turncoat grenade. I want him to have something that does damage. Uh, we'll give him the we'll give him the plasma grenade, and then she can take a turncoat, and then he's gonna take that uh, that uh, plasma grenade she had. He needs the breach charge more than he does more than um whatever because he has the special ability that goes with it. Charge rupturing all enemies uh, near the breach point, so he can rupture enemies at the breach point. Um, I think we're ready to go then. We haven't actually, I've never actually kitted out the robot for real. I guess I could have took that frag grenade from him, but I think the, these ones do more, right? Yeah, so, no point in doing that really, and we don't expect to have people dying, so there's no point in worrying about the, the robot, because that's the only time we're coming to play. Damn, five minutes in and we're just starting to? Whatever. This club used to be the heart of an alien trafficking operation. 3-1 PD never figured out who was behind it. Now Gray Phoenix is on site. We think they're here to clear out evidence of their connection. Don't let them. All right. Uh, successful shots on enemies will crit. Um, we'll give that. What's the best aim here? In theory, it should be terminal because I think she has a scope too. Or I think we took that from her because she wasn't hidden. Oops. Okay, now it should be cool to talk and hit my microphone. Uh, plus 50 dodge. I think everything else, uh, flea footed plus the mobility for one round. He doesn't move that much, so we'll give him the dodge. Verge could, in theory, fight Reaching from in. the beginning. Ooh. Not beginning, but wherever he drops from. Because it was last uh, episode, I think it was, where he stood in the same spot and was mind controlling and stupering everyone. That thing is still creepy to me. The faceless. I don't think we have seen anything that they can do yet. Do I want a phalanx right now? I don't think so. Although I might, because we might not kill everything. This shit better work right though. This I feel like there's no reason to use phalanx since it doesn't 100% take everyone's uh, shots. Some people will still shoot at anybody else, really. Oh, it's too faceless. Alright, well, I guess let's focus down this one. And can you see that one? You can. Let's do this one, though. Just because it was guaranteed to crit, so we could pr pretty much equalize the damage there. So, yeah, see, they shot right past Cherub for no reason. It says Phalanx is supposed to draw those shots. That's why I use Phalanx. Doesn't make sense to keep using it. I think in the next playthrough, we're probably going to use Cherub less just because, I mean, Phalanx is probably one of his biggest things besides giving out the shields and either the game is glitching and not making it work right or that ability isn't as strong as it uh, originally seems. All right, but this Lightning Hands ability is pretty good because uh, we can take out, can we take out one of the Faceless? We can take out one of the Faceless for sure. We're going to take this one out just because they look big and menacing. I assume they do a lot of damage because of that. Alright, can we see the number two unit? Actually, give yourself a shield. You're, you're selfish. You're selfish shield. There we go. Shields up. Now, can you see that other... The number two? You can. You have a 100% chance to hit now. Five to six damage. If we do max damage, then we'll kill it. Or a crit. A crit will also kill. Excellent. Let's see what this thing's gonna get into. You did this. Close, but still a miss. Yep. All right. So, do I have a lot of stuff grouped up? We don't actually. We only have what two or three things left. This python's way in the back is probably gonna be a, a issue later on. Eighty-four percent chance to hit them. We don't need to do second one yet. We could take them out now. Which I might do. 
or at least try to do. Yeah, uh, that's why I changed it to try and do. But it will die for sure at the start of its turn, so we don't have to worry about it anymore. Never mind, because it regens health. Forgot about that. So let's see what this thing actually does. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, so it does wide sweeping melee attacks, is what it looks like. Which makes sense since its arms are almost to its feet. Uh, can we use... We can use Battle Madness. We'll use it on you. I was hoping it would shoot the, uh, the faceless in the back, but I think that's fine too. I haven't used Banish either. I don't, actually, I don't even know what it does. Fire the target until you run out of ammo or it dies. Yeah, okay. Um, um, I'm going to try and take out this Paladin. Because I don't want it to buff the, uh, the Faceless in any way. So this thing is going to die at the start of its turn now. And that means we're free to shoot at the Faceless. And probably take them out since they are so close. Yeah. Plus we got the aim uh, bonus from um, terminal shooting at it. Oop! Hiccup. All right. So now this thing has a cooldown of four turn cooldown. Let's use it on them. Actually, let's you let's start with shrapnel. Which will go off before this thing's turn, so we'll put it on them. And it's ruptured too. I don't remember what Barrage does. Uh, Shrapnel's Bomb and Sticky Grenade do plus one damage to any not automatic and do not automatically end the turn. I skipped some words in there. And do not automatically end the turn. Why is my screen moving? Interesting. There's some effect on my TV screen that had like blocks moving across it for no reason because I have a video paused. Shrapnel bomb can now be used more than once a turn. So does that mean I can get it? Or I can put it right here. So if that thing moves up to any of those points for cover, it's going to catch a bomb too. And it's also ruptured now. Oh, but that is the end of my turn, which makes sense. Oof, if that if that grabbed, that would have been a whole different problem. I thought they might move up. I guess not. They do have pretty good uh, cover right there. So, uh, we'll give a kinetic shield to... Actually, give another kinetic shield to yourself. That way, when you take your shot, you're more likely to hit. Because we're not going out there since we know that there's going to be... Um, explosions in a second and we're gonna take a shot on them because they have no damage on them and aren't about to have any damage on them either this dude over here is gonna have the bomb oh never mind that did damage that one didn't explode right but probably because it was two back to back and didn't bother loading everything can't tell that's probably gonna yeah this is probably gonna hit oh okay i had a feeling though because the shot was angled this way between it so i'm like is it gonna do that thing where they obviously aren't for the hit and then change last second and act like it looked like it was going to hit the whole time well let's use some dude she has a 45 she'll do four to five damage yeah this is our first encounter too this one took quite a bit of time i think i don't think it did actually i feel like time's just moving really slow and fast at the same time currently you're approaching a vip area not our kind of vips the actual original non-euphemistic vips fancy clothes dancing shoes Pharmacy in their pockets. Hilarious. On the nose. All right. Yo, let's send them through here. We'll have less. Somehow they have. There's more there. Still upset that cherubs. I don't know. I feel like there's no real reason to use that ability if it's not gonna grab. Damn, we have a lot of medi patches. I think we should switch that up. Clearing the path. I don't think we need all of those. Yeah, because only he took damage, so it would have been overkill to use any more than one. Yeah, Phalanx, not worth it. Overhyped. Oh, they're ruptured too, so... Anyone else ruptured? No. 
We don't want to hit this dominator next, though. You have a hundred percent chance to. Hit. Okay, I was going to say you will hit, right? Because I don't got time for the the. Okay, I was going to say I might just take you off the team. But that's how you're going to react to me talking about your phalanx. Okay, the dominator's out, and we can use levitate on something if we want to. I don't see a reason to. We didn't take the extra damage from Levitate. I think it, that was in favor of healing from the Nero network, which I feel like is just going to be the more powerful thing that anyways. Because he can only use Levitate once per round, so it's that's like one to three damage one time per round. Doesn't really sound helpful. So this is the hostage taker. And this bomb is going to go off before they get their turn. So let's put it right there. Now they're ruptured. We'll put a sticky bomb on you. That way, you're gonna move somewhere. I don't really care where, because I don't think you'll be able to get close enough. That was the preferred area. I don't think it actually did damage the to them. Okay, it doesn't look like that actually came up. Some dude drags around a, a, a trash can for work, basically, or like with his job. But it's incredibly loud. Okay, there's no one behind us. We'll give you another kinetic shield. And then I think we're going to use shield bash Protective on someone angles. if we can reach not the guy who's, um, yeah, about to get blown up. So, um, I guess overwatch this area. Yeah. Just in case something tr that oh well I guess they're dead so. What did it explode smoke? I guess there was a smoke thing over there. Um, are they gonna attack the VIP? No, okay, cool. Only the VIP take will attack the VIP is what it seems like. I had a feeling I should have did the hallway instead of where I did it. Um, let, let's use cooperation with uh yeah Claymore. And. Claymore is going to take a shot on them also. Just because I know with this 100% chance, the shotgun's going to do a lot of damage. Oh, and the poison too, so. Will we have to deal with it? No, yeah, we definitely still do have to deal with it. Uh, Take a shot. 96% chance. I don't see how she has even a chance at missing when the thing is that close. Plus 2 HP. I forgot about the healing that they get at the end of, or at the start of their turns. That thing stepped through that window so carefully. It was like it was trying not to damage it. Damn. Is it going to hit both of them? Yeah, see how slow? Like, it runs so hard through everything else and then just gets there and slows all the way down. I don't think we should even do that. We might as well use uh, a stupor on them. Right? Why does it say two damage? Your thoughts are mine. Okay. And then take a shot on this thing that's right in front of you menacingly. Not even staring at you. Just kind of looking off into the distance. All they had was that movement. Uh, if we drop this on them, when will it go off? It'll go off before they can do anything. It's not going to hit the VIP either, right? Yeah, okay. Throwing explosive! Uh, clear the VIP area. Okay. Um. Um. Let's just move out here, I guess. I don't know if we have to keep them safe, though. Like, if we have to go secure them and bring them all the way back. So I'm going to start moving people a little okay, closer in. I don't. I hope I didn't just move Cherub too Keep close. Moving. But he does have a shield, so it'll be fine. Down. We'll move her here and then have her prepare. Since this bomb is going to go off in preparation. Yeah, he did get too close, but he only lost his shield with that. Alright, so we are cool. We didn't have to secure them and take them out. Oh, we're on the second encounter. I guess I could have figured that out that way. Activity in the parking lot. Looks like they're wrapping up. Heavy guard on that laptop. That's it. This evidence 
It should lead us to where they're holding the aliens, right? That's the hope. Good. Families belong together. All right. Enemies deal minus one damage during the breach. All non-explosive. Oh, do we have another one? Oh yeah, I guess he get does get to keep those, doesn't he? First unit does the engines will have their weapon disabled. That's fine. I think we gave him the auto loader. I actually can't remember. We should have had one off of Godmother, right? That or I switched it out for someone else. Can't remember. Cherub, uh, terminal, uh, no one's injured. Okay, that's fine. And then we'll use, then you are going to go here with your hollow skin. I need to take that from her, actually, because her refresh is what she uses more than anything else. Uh, doesn't make that much sense for her to have both. All right, let's see what's going on in here. Looks like we got a lot of stuff scanned. We have a faceless and an at. Wait, no. What's that that's going to attack? A legionnaire and an adder that are going to try and attack us. We're going to start with the legionnaire, actually, because I think they have more health. Yeah. Need to get that damage fixed. Um, A praetorian? I don't think we've seen them yet. We're going to have to figure out what they do in a second. I'm going to use your shot on them since I know y your stuff does the least amount of damage. And then 5 to 6 here if it hits. Let's start damaging the Praetorian. Oh, he has 2 armor though, so the most we can do on him is 5 damage, which isn't that much. Maybe we should just focus on them since we know we'll, once we hit, we'll do whatever damage we do for sure. And we're able to get a crit on that too. Duel? I don't know what that means. That's the evidence. Don't let them wipe that data. I need to reload. Okay. Who did you just duel with? You dueled with her. This bomb will go off. This bomb will go off when? Where's it at? It's not drawing. With the dual act, if the Praetorian cannot miss the dual agent, but the agent also can't miss, cannot miss the Praetorian. That's uh, all right, I guess. Um, does he have the free reload? He doesn't. Where's this grenade gonna go? Okay, it's gonna go before both of these two. So when I hit it, landed on both of those two. I'm gonna use team up on terminal. That way she can get a shot in on them and then give herself the, um, the, uh, can I do another one in the same spot? Nah, cause that's going to hit that, uh, that, um, civilian. I will drop both of those right there though. I think they go back to back, don't they? Yeah. Maybe I should have spread those out a little bit, but whatever. Okay. We can use pin down on them also. use the motel thing on on cherub Wait for it. Now. which won't take her won't take an action from her right and now cherub gets an extra turn which will use lightning hands to not you either let's do some extra damage to the praetorian if we still have stuff going on we'll uh what was what was that plus one armor Okay, so we definitely should have Cherub keep shooting at him since Cherub's, uh, Cherub, I think, and, Cherub and Verge's shots both do, um, Armored up. have our AP shells, so they'll go straight to the armor. And, um, I guess we'll take the other shot at you and take you out of the turn order completely. Got my target. Okay, now it's back to her turn. We can use the turn code grenade on you on you and see what you end up doing with this okay that's not bad either and then we'll have her they're gonna go at number three we'll use our daughter user cooperation no it's still on cooldown isn't it 
Cause I just realized they're finna move on the uh, on the spot. I should have did some more to them instead of letting them stay. Well, if I like land this shot, they'll die for sure. Okay, so the spot is saved, and then the Praetorian is probably gonna. Oh, that works. I'm fine with that. So that got rid of them. Did the, oh, I guess they both went off at once. Who's the, who are they going for? I think that should be okay. It might hit Cherub also, which is going to be a problem. I'm okay. Just banged up. Yeah, that's a little bit of a problem, but not too bad. Charged. Now Cherub is charged all the way up. Let's see what this uh, the supercharge thing does. So spend all store charges and increase the damage of all allies while placing a hollow target effect on all enemies. How many enemies do we have? Are we going to have to defend this? I feel like we should save the charge, actually. Again, we're going to give this to Terminal. Whose turn is next? Verge. Uh, whoa, that was weird. Take a shot. Take a shot on them. Interesting. They they died before I took the shot. And the, Okay, that thing blew up is what happened. And then Verge is just going to... You can just shoot them, right? 96% chance. Another 10 death. damage. Ooh. Good hit. Okay. Oh, that's it. Alright. Well, I guess we're not using supercharge yet. I thought we were going to have to defend that more. Are you ready for some old world nonsense? Next Thursday is our second annual Boots and Cats Night. Humans, prepare to gyrate your extremities as though you have no actual concern. Extraterrestrials, come see what humans once considered music. Addendum. After last year's incident, management insists that you do not bring cats to Boots and Cats Night. Hilarious. Nice work. City 31's alien population is safe from Grey Phoenix abductions. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Grey Phoenix operatives are able to endure more damage than normal, or Grey Phoenix have, has the supplies to arm and equip Praetorians. We did just fight a Praetorian. Um, it didn't seem too bad, I guess. Because we have AP rounds on two people, which will go straight through the uh, Praetorian's armor. We have the ability to shred their armor. And I think for the most part, we have the ability to heal as long as Terminal's on the team, which at this point, I don't see how did she do her last training? If she hasn't done her last training, then that would be the only reason to bring her off the team. Otherwise, she can keep everyone healed. So I think we're going to deal with the Praetorians over the increased health for everyone. Yeah, we'll do it this way. Yeah, so they have the ability to equip Praetorians. I assume he's either going to be a Praetorian or just a Legionnaire. Because he's built like one. It's no secret. Cross-species food can be dangerous. So how does Burger Palace ensure the safety of its customers? Simple. Each flavor bulb contains markers keyed to the species who can consume it. Once cooked into the patty, physical contact with the inappropriate species triggers the patty's flight response. We call it our compatibility guarantee. If you can't eat it, it'll let you know. Burger Palace. New name, new safeguards, same great taste. Interesting. Well, we accidentally took... Uh, actually, we can just cancel that. Uh... On multiple occasions, Grey Phoenix has evaded 3-1-PD pursuit. This happens across the city. They can't vanish into thin air. Find out where they're really going. So, we need to put terminal back in the team actually except because we'd have to we can't send the apc anywhere without it being full so we won't lose our field team if we do this mission will we lose no so we have more than enough illyrium for everything i think so we're gonna go for the money i guess gray phoenix follows a pair of leaders uh. both mutons Custodian Zell handles their technical interests. We know more about crew chief Yarvo, who directs their martial pursuits. Zell and Yarvo are unknown quantities. It isn't clear who caused the shots between them. So I guess I was right on both fronts. Names are ship dialect. Each of them must be an alias. How 
How so? Zell translates roughly to good route or safe passage. And Yarvo? Either a newly forged or birthed in flame, like a freshly formed alloy. Hmm. Interesting. I guess it's a good thing we had Axiom there, because he is one of them, kind of. They're both mutons, basically. But, uh, yeah, I guess I was right on both fronts. Looking at the pictures that they gave us, look like uh, Zell and Yarvo are a legionnaire and... I need a comm check. Yes. Go ahead. Check, check. One, two, check. Can you hear me? I sensed it. Right. But, Verge, you know how a comm check works. Yes. Then, wait, are you messing with me? Ah, yes. Well, at least you're honest about it. Hilarious. That's that's weird though, because he said he senses it, so I assume he doesn't hear in the same way. Is what it sounds like. All right, what do we get from this one? Oh, we picked up another what an auto loader? No, a stock, and I think it was an auto loader or a clip. Uh, this is an epic submachine gun. We already have one, so we don't need one. This one is gonna clear the investigation by three days. So I'm gonna do this one. <laughs> Because uh, we need to. That's 10 days there. So that's going to definitely overflow if we don't do anything about it. Trying to get it done faster. Praetorians are likely on this mission. Do we have... Godmother is the only level, like fully leveled our promoted character to also have her um, her training done. So once we finish here... Oh, do we have... Does Zephyr have her training done? Let me see. No, she doesn't. What about Axiom? What's he have going on? So I think the next person to get swapped out is going to be Terminal to go into training, and then Axiom's going to get put in. Damn, I guess getting double training would have been useful now looking at it. I didn't think about that, but I'll think about that for the next playthrough. Um, Let's change some stuff. We have a better stock. We have a superior stock, which means she'll do three damage when she misses instead of just two, because I don't see how her aim has never improved. Uh, what else do we have in here? We can give you an advanced stock instead of that impact frame, so something actually useful. Your gun is fine. I think your gun is fine, too. You have an advanced scope and an advanced stock. Yeah, I think everything's cool here. I don't think you need the hazmat seal, though, because you didn't move that much. Let's give you the bubble weave. I actually have that on someone so we can potentially see it. So we have mock weave, extra padding, bubble weave, and regen weave. I don't even think she took damage on our last mission despite giving her that stuff. But I like how this stuff is looking a little bit more... Di oh, we need to get rid of some of these. We need more, we need more breach stuff. Uh, this one is Breach. Let's take another Hollow Scanner and another... Yeah, let's take another Hollow Scanner. I think that's the only one we'll take. Um, and just swap his thing out for that. Because this one is the one that marks enemies and makes them... Agents can toss a Hollow Scanner into a Breach Point to quickly illuminate every available target. So yeah, that makes it easier to hit targets at a Breach Point. So Heal, Hollow Scan... You have a hollow scanner too. But I feel like we should switch that out for a medi patch and then give you a hollow scanner. That way we don't have to worry about missing out on a hollow scan with her because we want to heal. She'll just be healing the whole time no matter what. Gray Phoenix has locked down these apartments. Get in there and dislodge them. All right. Lashing with this entrance does plus three damage down the breach. Lashing with this entrance gets plus two or plus one armor for the encounter. Plus three damage down the breach. So we'll give this to Terminal can go first and then Claymore. And over here we'll have Verge go first and then Cherub. With a hollow scanner? We have two hollow scanners. And we have one encounter, so we might as well, right? Who has the other hollow scanner? Verge does, doesn't he? So then we'll have, hmm. We'll have Claymore lead through this one and then Verge go over here. 
right? Yeah, we'll do it this way. Entering. That way we can potentially mark all of the enemies that, um... That was weird. Oh, I think because I switched him, he still did a, a animation like that, even though he didn't Grenade need to. Out. Yeah, a lot of weird stuff happens in, in all of this. Okay, that faceless was creepily standing in the corner. Alright, we have a Praetorian here. And it's aggressive, so yeah, we should probably start shooting at it. Shredded armor and poisoned on that, so that's pretty good. And then this shot, it won't kill, but it might if it crits. But it won't kill either way, but it does mean that we don't have to do anything else to the Praetorian, because now they'll die on that turn. What do we have over here? Let's try and prevent uh, as much damage down the breach as we can. We could levitate them, but then we're going to have to deal with them later anyways. So there's no point in not taking the shot. And then they ended up missing too. That's pretty good. So, Okay, so it's his turn. We'll drop... Uh, what are we doing here, actually? Hang on. Clear the makeshift headquarters. Okay, we'll drop a bomb on the faceless. I wonder how they got the faceless to be on their sides, then. Or what a faceless is at all, actually. Shrapnel bomb. Uh, wait a second. Why is it doing it like that? Shrapnel. Okay, cool. It was giving me the animation. Oh, not the animation, but like... The, the lay layout, layover, whatever, as if I was going to move. And then um, we use subdue from this angle on them. I know I said I didn't have to didn't have to deal with them, but we also wanted to move him. And just in case something happened where they were able to heal on their turn, we didn't want to have to risk taking unnecessary damage because we just didn't do anything about it, basically. Okay, lightning hands. Not on that. Can we take this out with this shot? Yes, we can. Pushed him out the window too. That's pretty cool. Is it even? Someone on the street just had like a bad day if that thing fell and crushed them, or like some kid is gonna have nightmares for the rest of their life because this like nine foot tall, this deformed fleshy body just fell out of a window right in front of them, and then we're gonna. Not that. I want to shield bash them. Just to try and make sure that they go for Cherub on their turn. Let me try again. Yeah, just as I expected. And then we're just going to keep pushing that damage back on them. Because we can just give them a shield, melee attack. Okay. Let's cooperate with Verge. And we'll have Verge drop an acid grenade on them first. Throwing grenade. Two damage and acid burn. All right, now they're poisoned. And let's try and get them stupid to stay right where they are. Your thoughts are mine. Oh, and we got a two on it too. So we don't have to deal about. They pretty much skips their turn for us. And now you can take a shot on them. That hits. Acid burn plus three damage, and they're stunned too. So now battle madness on you. Enemies all around you. And let's see if you'll do it, some more Reason damage to the dominator. If you're gonna miss, yeah, you miss. It seems like a lot of this like whole encounter has been them missing. Uh, it looks like what the one dude, the the Praetorian, was right in front of us and still missed his shot take them out and then that thing missed their shot too i don't think actually it's been that many misses i think i'm just talking i wonder if we use put a sticky bomb on them if they'll actually move still they shouldn't i don't think there's a reason to though yeah because this will go off before explosive out yeah that's gonna go off before their turn so we don't have to worry about anything else give yourself a shield and then uh, 
shield bash them. It's gonna kill now, right? So on your next turn, you'll be able to move and do whatever you want, pretty much. That takes them out. Is this an onslaught or? Oh, okay, cool. Flawless mission. That's not bad. Forty percent chance for extra intel. So overall, that was pretty good. Uh, it made it seem like it was gonna be more difficult than it was. Brussel Aid, are you an extraterrestrial confounded by the new laws and strict st strictures? Is that a typo? Structures of post-advent society? Yeah, that is a typo. Wild. Do you find yourself in sudden need to rep in need of representation but desire a common framework of shared experience? Think no further than the legal facilities of Brussel Aid. Located in Angler Point, your troubles need my solution. From City 31 local advertisement. All right, so the stacks are about to go critical. Jared, your mind is, I have never experienced anything like it. Thanks, man. Good to know I'm a one of a kind clone. You broadcast what you think as you think it. Doesn't everyone? Rarely. Communication often requires layers of caution, self-delusion, and mutually agreed upon deception. Sounds like a lot of work. I'd rather say what I mean so I can get to the important stuff. And that is? The sunrise, waffles, laughter, wood smoke, you know, living. I am beginning to understand you. Let's bring that back down to zero. Um, We don't really need anything though. That's the only thing now. We're at the point in the game where like, either one of these is pretty useless well not useless but not that important we don't have an importance of these uh resources what are we doing now we're just getting stuff now talent rounds i want to know what those do next too we'll get this done in three days we might be able to get talent rounds done in before we get to this one and then we can fully kit out our team and see some of the last little equipments that we can get then i guess because i i said it a lot already i'm gonna play through this game again uh but do some uh slightly different things take different people for sure because i want to see what shelter is all about because i've never done any never seen anything about him and then i also do want to have a religion what mutons or aliens in general either the elders were the closest we had to what you consider gods but there was something else oh mutons who arrived in the invasion have a spiritual connection with our starships psionic no no nothing like that but we return to them as we can. The kind of pilgrimage. Do you ever return to yours? No. XCOM destroyed it in 2015. Interesting. So that explains why everyone's so upset about locking off the starships. Because it's taking away the mutons' religion or I guess sense of home. Might Maybe is a better way to look at it. Because the way uh, Axiom just talked about it. It's not really an... Um, damn, I really don't want either of these things either. I definitely don't like the adhesion grenade. This one gives me more stuff because I also get money from Well, actually, they give us the same amount of money. Ooh, whatever. I'll just take this. Wait, how many encounters are there then? This one has projected two encounters. Oh, I need to be ending the episode, don't I? Yeah, I definitely do. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next episode where we figure out which of these two missions we want to do the least because that's really what it's going to come down to. We're going to do this one. Hopefully I remember to look at it and do turn code because it's only one encounter. Uh, but thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Also follow the stuff in the description. Also share my channel because searching is still messed up. Bye.